Greetings language enthusiasts! Today, our lexical journey unveils a chapter that traverses the labyrinth of vocabulary, featuring words that are nuanced and less heard of. These are not grandiloquent words. They are just less commonly used but are found scattered in limitless oeuvre of literary works. Join us as we pore over the exquisite refulgence of each of these linguistic diadems woven across the starry realms of language. Our first word, umbrageous, embraces the elegance of shade and shadow. Derived from the Latin, umbra, meaning shadow, it paints a picturesque scene of a leafy, umbrageous grove, where dappled sunlight filters through the verdant canopy. Definition. Umbrageous. Creating or providing shade. Shady. Usage. The umbrageous trees provided a cool retreat on the hottest summer afternoons. In its rare usage, umbrageous may also mean easily offended or upset. Next in our lexicon is impugn, a word that wields the power of challenge and dispute. Definition. Impugn. To call into question or to dispute the truth, validity or honesty of any statement or motive. Originating from the Latin, impune, meaning to attack, it's a calling into question, to dispute the truth, validity or integrity of something. Usage. The debater sought to impugn his opponent's argument with incisive and thought-provoking questions. As we continue our linguistic sojourn, we encounter desecrate, a term that reverberates with the violation of sacredness. Rooted in the Latin de and sacrare, it carries the weight of profanity and sacrilege, often associated with the disrespect of sacred places. Definition. Desecrate to violate something sacred or to spoil. Usage. Vandals sought to desecrate the centuries-old temple, defiling its sanctity with graffiti. Now, let's unravel the meaning behind scrounge, a word echoing sly or cunning cadging or impecunious searching for adaptability. Likely derived from the old Scottish term, scrunge, it paints a picture of gathering or scavenging, often with a touch of sly or cunning ingenuity. The word may also mean cadge, beg, or borrow. Definition. Scrounge. Seek to obtain something, typically food or money, at the expense or through the generosity of others or by stealth. Usage. In times of scarcity, the survivors had to scrounge for food and supplies to endure the harsh winter. Our lexical expedition introduces us to rude, a term steeped in historical and religious significance. Originating from the Old English, rod, meaning cross, it is emblematic of a crucifix or a representation of the cross on which Jesus was crucified. It can also mean the measure of a distance quarter to an acre. Definition. A crucifix. 
especially one positioned above the rood screen of a church or on a beam over the entrance to the chancel, or a measure of land area equal to a quarter of an acre. Usage The medieval cathedral featured an ornate rood above the altar, symbolizing the Christian faith. The great poet John Milton uses rude to describe Satan's bearing in the following extract from Paradise Lost. Thus Satan talking to his nearest mate with head up lift above the wave, and eyes that sparkling blazed, his other parts besides prone on the flood, extended long and large lay floating many a rude. Prepare to navigate the labyrinth of language with periphrastic, a word that revels in the art of circumlocution and indirect expression. From the Greek, peri, around, and phrases, expression, it offers a verbose but often eloquent way of conveying ideas. Usage. Her periphrastic storytelling, filled with embellishments, extended the prolixity of the play engaging the audience for hours. As we sprinkle the linguistic canvas with our next term, sparge, we allude to the actions of dispersal and sprinkling. Rooted in the Latin, sparger, meaning to scatter, it evokes images of a gentle cascade or dispersion. Usage. The gardener would sparge water over the delicate seedlings to ensure even hydration. Brace yourselves for the robust cadence of vituperate, a word that embodies vehement criticism and harsh censure. Originating from the Latin, vituperare, it conjures images of scathing denunciation. Definition, vituperate, blame or insult in a strong or violent language. Usage, the fiery orator did not hesitate to vituperate those who opposed his political ideologies. In the verdant tapestry of words, we encounter Siaman and Gibbon, two words that resonate with the lively echoes of the animal kingdom. A Siaman is a type of gibbon native to Southeast Asia, known for its distinctive call and arboreal acrobatics. Usage. In the lush jungles of Sumatra, the Siamang's calls echoed through the treetops, creating a symphony of the wild. Usage. The gibbon swung effortlessly from branch to branch, showcasing its agility in the heart of the tropical rainforest. Our ornate lexical chapter concludes, leaving us with a richer, more vibrant lexicon to navigate the labyrinth of language. Join us in the next episode of Verbal Voyage, as we continue our exploration into the exquisite realms of linguistic beauty. Until then, revel in the artistry of words, and may your linguistic odyssey be as enchanting as the expressions we've uncovered today.